What we are doing at Future Vault uh, is we are really pioneering the advent of a new category that no one in this room has heard of. But I'll predict five years from now, it'll be literally common vernacular. And we believe that every single person on the planet, and certainly every client of a broker dealer or an RA, will have what we call a digital personal life management vault. Now, on one hand, you might say, well, what's their, you know, what is their uh, website access to your business? Or what are they using Dropbox for in their personal life? This is a whole new paradigm shift. It really matters a lot to firms, and it really matters a lot to advisors. But we live in a world now as a consequence of digitization, in which we have increasingly point solution after point solution, your, your bank uh, point solution, your brokerage firm point solution, on and on and on and on. You'd be shocked when you think about Netflix. It's a small point solution, but it's a point solution. And I believe and we believe that this aggregation is coming. And so we built this incredibly secure vault with a, a tremendous amount of functionality. At the end of the day, it's, you know, we, Daniel and I are an interesting team because he lives and breathes compliance and regulation, and that's a massive benefit of our solution. And I live and breathe that client experience so that they, day in, day out, think about their relationship with your firm and say, it extends beyond their managing some of my money extends beyond financial planning and estate planning. And just to give you the sort of the, the punchline, I went over the other day 10,000 documents in my vault. I was shocked by that. But I don't save, I don't think I save junk. I certainly save all my financial related documents. But I also save my eyeglass prescription, my kid's bronze medallion certificate. So if you sort of get the picture of where that's headed, what happens is that value proposition relationship between the broker dealer and the RIA and their end customer, that's what I live and breathe, that end customer experience is going to change and the paradigm with respect to how they interact will change.